So my name is Dr. Grant Bailey. I'm one of the cardiologists here at South Denver Cardiology. I specialize in treating patients with abnormalities in cholesterol, coronary artery disease, and, and vascular disease. So a coronary artery calcium scoring is a screening test to detect the presence of coronary artery vascular disease. What a calcium score is, is a low dose CAT scan of the heart arteries in your chest that is designed to detect the presence of calcium within the coronary arteries, which are the arteries that supply blood to your heart. The end stage of atherosclerosis or vascular disease is the, is the deposition of fatty plaque in the arteries, which as you develop what is called hardening of the arteries, that fatty plaque turns to calcium. A CAT scan is just an x-ray and as you know, an x-ray, such as an x-ray of your arm, can detect calcium in bone. And so a CAT scan of the heart arteries can detect the calcium that's deposited in your arteries. When a, when a calcium score is done of your heart arteries, they do slices through the entire heart looking at all the arteries. And they are assessing both the volume and density of the amount of plaque that's present in the heart arteries. The reason they call it a calcium score is because based on the volume and density of calcified plaque in your heart arteries, you're given a number that tells you how much plaque you have in your arteries. And then that also gives you a percentile to show you where you rank of other people of the same gender and age as you. So the calcium heart score is considered a screening study which means it's trying to detect the presence of coronary artery vascular disease in asymptomatic patients. Screening studies are performed in any disease in the population that has a high prevalence where you want to detect the presence in someone who may be asymptomatic before they suffer an event such as a heart attack. So a calcium score should be done in anyone who wants to be uh, screen for the presence of coronary artery disease, which is the number one killer in the United States and in the world. The guidelines suggest that if someone is at moderate risk for coronary artery disease, that they can be screened for the presence of coronary artery disease with a calcium score, specifically in asymptomatic patients. We use calcium scoring a lot to help guide treatment of cholesterol in these patients. For example, someone may come into me with a relatively low cholesterol um, but they have a lot of risk factors for coronary disease or a strong family history. So we'll check for the presence of calcium and plaque in their arteries. Similarly, someone may come in with relatively high cholesterol but have a low calcium score, which is reassuring that they don't have a lot of vascular disease. So anyone who's interested to know uh, if they have coronary vascular disease can be screened using a coronary calcium score. So on the day of your coronary calcium score, what will happen is you'll show up here in the office uh, in anticipation of having the scan. It's a very quick study. You're placed on the bed of the CAT scanner and you're put through the machine and a single rotation it captures the images of your heart very rapidly. The test itself only takes a few seconds and it doesn't require the need for IV access or contrast on the, key, on the CT scanner. The radiation that you receive from this test is very, very low, less than one millisievert. It's much less than the amount of background radiation that you receive in your daily life over the course of a year. After the test is performed, the techs will process the data in real time and then they'll sit down with you and give you a brief consultation about the results of what they found, what their meanings are, and, and decide with you if it's appropriate for you to have a consultation with one of our cardiologists. So your score will be given to you based on the amount of plaque that's in your arteries and will range anywhere between zero and several thousand. Technically, any score that's not a zero means there is the presence of calcified plaque in your arteries. You have to remember that a calcium score is not an absolute value because it's based on both your age and your gender. So for example, someone who's 40 years old who has a low score may place them a very high percentile based on their age and gender, whereas someone who's over age 80 will have a higher score but will be in a lower percentile for their age and gender. Patients are always very concerned about the results of their calcium score if it comes back elevated. An elevated score can either mean that you have, a, you have a very high burden of plaque in your coronary arteries or you have a high percentile for your age. The concern about a calcium score being high is that the more plaque in your arteries there are, the higher your risk is at some point in your life of suffering a heart attack. There's also a, 
a correlation between the amount of plaque and the calcium score and the likelihood that you may have an obstructive lesion in your coronary arteries. That is a lesion of plaque that's blocking blood flow. So based on the magnitude of your score, you and your doctor will decide whether it's, whether it's necessary for you to have further testing such as a stress test or a test to assess blood flow to your heart arteries. You'll also decide with your doctor whether it's appropriate based on your score to start cholesterol lowering medications, blood thinners or things to reduce your lifetime risk of heart attack. So a high calcium score on a, on a CT coronary calcium scan suge suggests that you have a lot of plaque in your coronary arteries. And as I previously said, a lot of plaque in your coronary arteries means you have a higher risk of heart attack and a higher risk of either having or developing a blockage of blood flow to your heart. Once we've identified someone who has a very high calcium score, then it's very important to treat that person aggressively to reduce their risk factors uh, of heart attack and pr progression of their vascular disease. Whenever I see someone who has a high score, I make sure that we have all of their cardiovascular risk factors very well controlled. That means I want to see the blood pressure being perfect, the cholesterol being perfect, and doing lifestyle modifications including diet, exercise and avoidance of tobacco to reduce your lifelong risk of heart attack. I also think it's important if you're a diabetic to make sure you have good glucose control and to have regular uh, diabetic examinations. There's a lot of different factors that influence vascular disease in every individual. These factors are both genetic, things that you inherited from your parents, and environmental. So, for example, some people may have, have very high family history where everyone in their family gets vascular disease at a young age, and that certainly is going to play into how we treat you and how we interpret your calcium score. Similarly, there's lifestyle and dietary risks that, that place you uh, at risk of having early calcification and vascular disease, such as smoking, high sugar, uh, processed food diet, uh, there's a lot of data suggests that uh, living in an area with high air pollution and things like that also can affect the rate at which you uh, develop vascular disease. So in summary, coronary artery calcium scoring is a screening test to detect vascular disease in asymptomatic people. It tells you both the volume and density of plaque in your heart arteries and we can use that data to help tailor a treatment plan for the patient. We use that data in conjunction with all of the other data that we have available such as blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, and smoking status to help decide how aggressive do we need to be with this person? Do we need to be doing stress testing? Do we need to put this patient on aggressive cholesterol lowering and blood pressure lowering medications, blood thinners, etc.? And on the other hand, it oftentimes is reassuring to patients to say, look at you're doing great and your calcium score is either zero or very low and that means you're at low risk of heart disease over the next several years. So at South Denver Cardiology, we have an extensive cardiovascular testing department. CT scan with coronary artery calcium scoring is just one of the many tools that we have to help diagnose cardiovascular disease and provide prognostic inf information to patients who have vascular disease. We also have a full lab uh, equipped with diagnostic imaging including cardiac ultrasound, CT scanning, stress testing, blood flow studies, nuclear medicine, and treadmill testing. So this is just one of the many modalities available to us to help diagnose uh, and treat you and help come up with a tailored plan specific for each patient. Mm -hmm.